So I'm going to start to wrap up this campaign. We're going to get to turn 400 and see what happens. So let's just jump straight into this now. Napoleon and Isabella just peaced out, so uh, that will be interesting. I mean, Napoleon doesn't really have to worry about too much. Dang! Uh, what is America doing again? Because I know that America was starting to attack... I don't know. This is weird. Are they going straight in for Orleans? What What is What is Washington doing here? Doesn't seem like it's the best strategy. I I, I know that he's been kind of migrating from the north down, but ah oh man, AI. This This is supposed to be the smarter AI. What the heck, guys? What is going on? This is not smart AI. This is totally not smart AI. But uh, whatever. Like I said in the intro, we're gonna try to get to turn 400 because that seems to be about the time that uh, things start to wrap up. And and especially we we're, pre we're pretty much gonna have to do the info addicts victory. Uh, I I would think because well we'll see we'll see in the, in the next coming turns, but. Um, a science victory is apparently, and I should have realized this. The te technically, the AI isn't geared towards a victory because they can't win again. Uh, they're not. They're not like programmed right now to just go straight in for uh, you know a particular victory because the game has already been won by Canada. So uh, we we should have taken that into account. We will, um, and we'll kind of double check and see what the next few turns can bring us. Man, I have no idea what America is doing. They're just. I, are they going for Paris? Are you just going to try to go for Paris? Or are you going to go for Arlene? Are you even going to tag anything? Like, this is, uh, this is kind of a big old mess, and, uh, pretty disappointing. Uh, so the Sioux, still going after the Iroquois, nothing really happening. Oh, wow, Canada. Look at Canada moving through Anishinaabe territory, even the Iroquois or English territory. I mean, they, they're sending over some units, too. Lots of massive migration. I know I've talked about this several other times, um, and, and... I just, I really had a fun time with this campaign. It's just, it was so different. It was so different from the rest of the other kind of AI onlys that we've done. We've never had a campaign with like this, this many civs. And I guess I should say this, like not that many civs. We don't, we didn't have that many nations involved here, but we had a lot of map space. So that brought a whole new area. And, and because we've given them all uh, settlers, see, that was, that was a key though. That was really key to continue to have like an exciting game because if we didn't give the tribe the tribal nations, uh, settlers, then yeah, this would have been a huge old mess, or it wouldn't have been a mess, it would have been boring, because, you know, people would have started off with their capital, and then it would have taken forever for them to get out settlers, because we gave the native tribes, uh, extra settlers, we gave the Europeans and the colonies some, some extra settlers too, just not as much, uh, that's what made this work, uh, if we didn't do that, then this would have been boring, it would have taken forever for there to be any border friction with, uh, with other nations, and, and I guess that was one good element, so, that was interesting, uh, and the wars have just been huge because we've had huge armies battling it out here. Uh, yeah, Canada is going for, or France is going for this uh, this terribly placed ca uh, Canadian colony. Uh, now, the Canadians are going to need to find to, I'm sorry, France is going for this terribly placed, did I say, I don't even know if I said that right, I'm pretty sure I didn't because I never say anything right, but France is trying to take out this uh, Canadian colony. Uh, and then we have Canada, I don't think they have open borders through Sioux territory, and I doubt the sitting bull would give that to them? Well, we'll see. I don't think so. A Paula program has been built by the Denny. And a couple of, uh, oh my goodness, a whole bunch of nuclear aircrafts are coming closer towards the Iroquois front. That is a little bit scary. That is very scary for Hiawatha. He, I mean, I don't think sitting bull is messing around anymore. I mean, things are getting intense. It's 1970 AD. I don't think we've had one nuke drop, which is incredible to me. Uh, that has been amazing. I, I'm so shocked that we haven't seen not even one nuclear exchange. Uh, I don't think we've seen anything. And, and there's been, you know, a lot of nations have had the Manhattan Project built for a really long time. Also, I, interesting, I mean, I guess if I were to talk about some things that I was disappointed with this campaign, I'm, I'm disappointed that we didn't see more naval combat. Uh, we could have really seen some interesting wars with the Europeans and, and the colonies, uh, but we really didn't see much there. Oh, okay, I guess we're seeing slight naval combat, but most of this are submarines. I don't know why Washington decided to bring submarines over to France, but, I mean, hey, whatever, it's fine. You want to grab your own uh, Caribbean colony, I get that. And uh, Washington's military is, uh, as we thought, getting absolutely decimated because they're just walking through French territory just like without a care in the world. Not going so well, not going so well at all. Zapotec have gotten open borders through the Mayans and uh, they are trying to slowly go after these former Aztec cities. Uh, or at least this one Aztec city that the French control. But uh, And Mexico looks like they're going to survive this one. I believe so. Now, the only other victory, and I don't even know if it's possible. I mean, I don't know how much... 
if they're not going for a science victory, then I'm not sure exactly how much they've been engaged in going for a cultural victory. Uh, the AI could have maybe passed up a few opportunities of getting great works instead of, you know, maybe they went, maybe they went for, you know, a golden age or, or they used the great tile improvement or they used the musician for extra. Well, I guess that still helps a golden, that still helps a, for a cultural victory, but uh, I'm not sure exactly. We don't know. We don't know how much the cultural victory was affected because Canada has already won the game. We clearly see that the science victory and and the way AIs pursue a science victory has been affected because Canada has won the game. So uh, I don't think we can base this on a victory type. It doesn't seem like it's a fair uh, deal here. And uh, but we'll see. We'll get. We'll see. Not. I'm not going to make anything. We're going to do this last video here. Hopefully, get to turn 400, and then. Uh, and then, and then we'll look over some of the info addicts, look over some things, look over some statistics, and see what happens uh, from there. But uh, yes, I think that America is going to lose a pretty big chunk of their army, and the Iroquois are too preoccupied with the Sioux of the North, Sioux up up north, to really, I think, do anything about maybe France losing a lot of units or even Washington losing a lot of units. Unfortunately, the Iroquois are just kind of in no place to be able to uh, bully the world because they're getting pretty bullied themselves. Too bad England didn't do much more. England again. Didn't have the best game, and uh, I mean they did okay. It wasn't like it wasn't terribly disappointing, but they always have these very mediocre games, uh, which is it's not disappointing. Now it's kind of just been expected, uh, I guess. But I don't know. We'll see. Repeal of science funding and the repeal of the banning of dyes. Okay, and that's five more turns. Uh, that's Canada trying to repeal the banning of dyes, and Mexico is trying to repeal science fund funding. Okay. That actually might help a lot of the world, like the Shoshone and stuff like that. There are there are a lot of nations that are actually influential with seven or more sieves at the moment. Oh, bam! The first French city has fallen. I believe it's the first, right? Yeah, to the Zapotec. Now the Zapotec are moving in. They seem to be a lot more coordinated, uh, a lot better coordinated, I guess I should say, than than Washington's army. Washington's army is just all over the place where the Zapotec are going. It looks like they, well, they might start splitting up from here, but it looks like the Zapotec have a huge force. They've got a lot of rocket artillery, which makes it really easy, obviously, to take over cities for an AI. Uh, with all these rocket artillery set surrounding Mexico City, if they're, if they're smart about this, they'll be able to take a lot more French cities away. Uh, and I think that you can easily say, that's right, the Shoshone and the Mayan are still at war, but nothing's really happened here because they've had kind of the same mistake. They've been splitting up units. Um, I mean, if anything, the wars that have gone on with, you know, all the nations, all the other powerful nations, it's just really kind of solidified the sitting, sitting bulls dominance in this campaign. I mean, it's just easily solidified because you get the Sioux and the Mayan. They were both kind of powerful uh, rivals to the to sitting bull in the south here, but now they're fighting against each other. And at any point, uh, literally the Sioux can walk in at any point with all their units and go after, and they could wipe out the entire world. If they launched a smart enough campaign, they could wipe out everybody, even for an AI. I think they've got that many units. Oh, revolution. The Mayan have risen up and they've adopted order. Oh, I'm sorry, autocracy. Uh, as their ideology forced to adopt autocracy wow i thought most of the world went freedom here i'm pretty sure they did again i can't open it up and uh but still that's pretty amazing the iroquois look like they might lose another city but still sitting bull has been really really careful with dropping those uh dropping those nuclear bombs which i gotta say is pretty nice of him he did not have to do that at all he could have he totally did not have to listen to uh i don't know the advisor's I, I, I don't know. Whoever's probably advising him, I'm sure there's people advising him to, to drop some nukes all over the Iroquois and just walk into those cities. Uh, I have to say, it's pretty nice of Sitting Bull not to do any of that stuff. Um, and I know I can look through some of these spaceship parts and probably try to figure out exactly how many spaceship parts have been built up by every sieve, but that doesn't seem right because it doesn't... Some of these spaceship parts have been built a long time ago and stuff like that. Just a big old, huge old mess. Uh, now, how, how's Washington doing? Yep, look at that. Washington has pretty much single-handedly destroyed almost his entire military force. Almost every single unit has been destroyed because they were... That was not smart AI. Whereas the Zapotec, I would say, are doing pretty smart moves. They're, they're going after Guadalajara. Uh, they might go after another northern Aztec city. Uh, Washington is plotting against Elizabeth. Well, I mean, Washington, you have, like, no military right now, so I would kind of be careful of that. That doesn't seem like it... Doesn't seem like it would work. Bam, Guadalajara has dropped, and this is going to make it even easier for the AI to uh, focus in on a single siege of one city. Uh, so now they're going to go after this Aztec city. Former Aztec city, I guess I should say. The Aztecs are no longer around, and of course the Zapotec are not going to... They're not going to... Uh, I don't know, what's the word? Um, recall the their, their rivals, the Aztec? I don't think so. Boom, Shoshone are going to take over their own Mayan city, and I, I'm surprised they did that. 
I didn't think they were going to do that. Uh, now, I, I believe the... Wow, look at the Denny building up a military. I, I believe the Chinook are still at war with the Shoshone, but I can't remember. I think they might have pieced out, actually. Uh, but who knows, because they both don't have very many units. Maybe the Denny could do something against the Shoshone while they're over here attacking the Mayans uh, in the east. That wouldn't be a terrible idea. And yeah, the Zaptec have got some really interesting late-game expansion. Uh, that is quite fascinating, actually. Sitting Bull is plotting against Pocatello. Okay. Yep, that seems like that would be a, a nail in the coffin there. As Sitting Bull, if, if they were to actually go to war, whoa, look at that, England and the Iroquois teaming up against Spain, shocked that Spain has even stayed around this long, I didn't think they were going to, uh, I thought that, I, I don't know, I'm actually very shocked that they're, they're just kind of still, I think that part of the reason is the Iroquois have been really preoccupied for a very long time, boom, first Mayan city has fallen to the Shoshone, um, but also, ooh, and the Cree and England are teaming up against the Anishinaabe. Oh, wow, okay. And actually, the Cree can do some damage here. The Cree might be able to take over this final Anishinaabe city. They've got some units, man. They've got some They've got some really heavy units. Oh, wow, that's pretty interesting. Hmm, okay, so yes, uh, we're not going to vote here. What else do we have? Sitting Bull's playing against France. Okay, so yes, Sitting Bull's starting to lick his chops because he realizes that the world is pretty much just destroyed themselves. Uh, they didn't go after, they didn't go after the Sioux. They just destroyed themselves. They destroyed France. Then they did. Oh, look at this. Washington's moving their submarines over here. And, uh, oh, okay. We're actually seeing a separation. Zapotec are kind of separating their armies. Now, if the Zapotec get lucky enough, they could probably take two cities here. At most, two more cities. I don't think so, though. And how are the Shoshone doing? Mm, they still have some work to do against Chitnitsa. Chitnitsa to really take over some stuff here. But uh, the Mayans are down by quite a lot here. Yeah, the mines are, they're falling all over the place. Okay, uh, now is there anything going to Spain? Salamanca ha has not dropped either. Anything going to Spain? Does Spain have to worry about anything? Now, I know England's got a naval force. And uh, so, wait, what is this? So, science funding was not repealed. And the uh, repeal of the banning of, of dyes was not repealed any either. Okay, what is this? Orleans has, oh my gosh, Orleans has dropped to Mayan territory. Wow. Okay, so it looks like Maya, the Mayan are going to stay alive. Even if they get absolutely just destroyed by the Shoshone, which I don't think they would anyways, they're going to stay around. They're going to stay around in this campaign. Mexico's publicly denounced the Cree. Okay. Wow, I'm, I'm shocked there. So yeah, France was dealing some, with some really heavy ideological uh, issues, clearly. Which I'm very surprised with. I didn't think, I didn't think we would see that sort of thing. But yeah, no, that's, that's happening. That's a thing. Revolution. What's going on here? The people of France has risen up and they've adopted autocracy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, wait a second. I'm pretty damn sure that most of the world had gotten freedom here. Is it because of the Sioux's dominance that most of the world's switching over towards autocracy? I mean, that, that could be a thing. Wow. So many rebels just popped up in kind of France, but also now Mayan territory even. It's also even popped up in Mayan territory. The Denny and Zapotec are now friends. How is Zapotec doing against Mexico City? They still have quite a bit of work to to get through yeah they still have quite a bit uh how are the shoshone doing against the chitnitsa okay it's okay i mean i think they uh, they don't have very many range units if they move if they pull down some of these rocket artillery and even the basic rock uh, artillery uh they'd probably be able to have much more much more luck there now how are the anishinaabe doing oh boom kree are taking it over the Cree are destroying the Anishinaabe, R.I.P. Anishinaabe. Uh, you had a very good game, I have to say. You, had, you played really, really well. Um, and But there they go. They, they're they gone. And, uh, they, I mean, they, like I said, they, they had a great game. I, I don't know how else to, to say it. I mean, it was, it was good. They had a good time, and they played tall. For a while there, I thought they, they might be able to, if they stayed peaceful, they would have been okay. Uh, well, it's, it wasn't necessarily the case. They never really declared war. It was just that people around them started declaring war on them, and they didn't have the forces to keep up with England, Canada, Washington. I mean, everyone, the Iroquois, everyone was declaring war on the Anishinaabe, even the Cree. The Cree had declared initially a war, I think, with England. So it was pretty messed up. But hey, at least the Cree, the Cree look a lot better. They've kind of fixed their border gore. I actually really enjoy these borders that the Cree have adopted here. Uh, I like them. I like them. They control uh, western Michigan and a lot of the Great Lakes. They have quite a bit of big, quite a big navy. If they would have got a, a navy bigger uh, initially, if they would have got a bigger navy earlier on, they probably would have gone and done much more damage to these regions. But uh, yeah, they kind of dropped the ball there. 
Sue's still struggling. <laughs> the Sue's still struggling. How are these Rebels doing? Rebels are still around, but I think France is doing their job. Uh, these American submarines aren't going to do much. Mexico City has fallen. I didn't actually see that one. And again, I think at most the Zapotec can maybe take about one more city away from France. I think that they're going to lose too many units after that. Uh, but yeah, they'll probably take this northern Aztec city. And uh, oh, they're dealing with some rebels too. So the rebels are everywhere. The rebels are just straight up everywhere. I do like the uh, the Zapotec borders. That's pretty cool. Now, uh, the, how, how is Chitnitsa doing? It's okay. There's, there's an infantry unit. There's a rocket artillery that can start. Oh yeah, next turn that's gone. Oh wait, no it's not. Unless you, maybe, if this Marine gets a promotion or something. Actually, maybe they don't even need a promotion. If the AI is smart enough, they should be able to walk in. Uh, if they just take enough damage away from the city. Because I, I believe the Shoshone attack first. And then the Mayans turn processes. I, I think. I think. I'm not 100% on that, though. Uh, so now we're up to turn 401. 1981 AD. And now it is uh, 402. 1982. Let's see uh, if the Mayans lose another city. The Mayans would be done, down to about three cities in their northernmost uh, empire. Uh, but they're kind of spread out all over the place. Remember, they've got their capital here in central Mexico. And then they now grabbed over here, just right in the middle, French lines. And that was Orleans, too. I mean, that was a big city. That was a really big city. I mean, of all cities to turn on France, I mean, France has just completely fallen apart. I cannot believe it. France has gotten com just completely fallen apart. And it, it should have been worse, to be honest. Because um, America did the dumbest move, the biggest bonehead move I think I've seen of an AI, where America had a huge military and they were just absolutely, I don't even know. I'm just, I am just dumbfounded, the the, the AI strategy there. Uh, but, I mean, it, it, could, it should have been a lot worse for France. They still lost several cities. They're going to lose even more to the Zapotec. Uh, but, you know, losing Orleans, a big population, a populated city like that, as well as, you know, they kind of got cut off. Troyes and Barcelona kind of got cut off because there was an infrastructure. There was infrastructure leading from Orleans to these two cities. Uh, that's been pretty messed up as well. So it's just been an all-around mess. Uh, and I, I'm shocked. I mean, I guess, you know, America could do something with their Navy. But, you know, these, these submarines are not going to be enough to do the job. Uh, all right, Zapotec, what's going to go down? Also, the Shoshone. Are you going to do something? No, the Shoshone are not going to do anything. More rebels. Rebels popping up everywhere. The only nation that's not really dealing with rebels are the Sioux. Uh, they're not dealing with any sort of ideological rebels that are spawning up or anything like that. France didn't even take this uh, Canadian settlement. Settlement. I guess they pulled them back when they realized they needed a lot of help. Okay, okay. so Washington's going to go in for their second attack. Maybe it won't be as big of a disaster as the, the initial one. Sue's still struggling. Oh, man. Got to give to the Iroquois, man. They have been a trooper. They have been the iron sieve here. Another sieve. Oh, my goodness. And that's and that was San Francisco joining the Sioux. Wow. So, yeah, the Sioux are just kind of just gripping their hold. And remember, remember the Sioux. The Sioux of all nations were one of the only persons to change this to autocracy, and they have completely changed the world. Uh, and and the, thought of, the thoughts of, of the population of this map have completely changed from freedom to autocracy. And you're seeing cities just drop all over the place. Revolutions are happening all over the map. It's 1984. It's just been a huge mess. Oh, and the Shoshone finally dropped uh, the Chitnitsa. So, boom. There goes that. And uh, that should be it for the Shoshone. I don't think they're going to take anything more. Actually, they might go up north. No, wait. That's the Sioux. I'm sorry. The, Mo the Mayan and the Sioux kind of have similar colors. It, it messes with me. My eyes are being messed with right now. Borders are cleaning up, though. Gotta give it I got to give it that. The borders have, in fact, cleaned up pretty, pretty well. Uh, this city is still not falling to the Zapotec just yet. And we have Hayawatha plotting against Elizabeth, but he will not do anything. I promise. And another revolution. What is it? The Zapotec people have forced autocracy. Wow. Forced autocracy. This is just insane. I, I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. Just one by one. And honestly, this is only going to help a, you know, a possible Sioux cultural victory. That was the thing that was stopping the Sioux initially, was that they didn't have the same ideology as everyone else. So they were getting a huge negative 34% penalty. Uh, so this has just been a complete mess. I, I can't even believe it. But uh, anyways, guys, I'm going to have to stop right there. Ooh, the Sioux have denounced the Denny and the Shoshone. So that's a big statement there. Uh, I'm going to have to stop right there, though, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.